Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your fish tank. So I have a beta fish and this is just a 10 gallon tank and to clean your tank you're going to need a net, some water conditioner, you'll need a big old bucket, and a siphon. As you can see the tank is very dirty, there's some grime up on the sides and it's actually overcrowded. I've noticed my beta just hide, hiding out in the same corner. So it is time to clean it out. This is Oogie. He is my male beta. And I love him. Okay, so you'll also need a bowl to put your fish in because you can't leave the fish in there while you're cleaning it. So I just have a little mixing bowl. And I fill it about halfway with some of the tank water. And then I'm going to put the fish in this water so that they don't get too shocked. Also, I took everything out of their tank. I'm going to rinse it off and clean it. And I'm not going to put everything back in there because my beta doesn't like all of it. Okay, so this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. You'll have to get a siphon. This siphon is a little big for a 10 gallon tank. But just get your siphon, make sure it's going into the bucket, and to start the whole process, you have to stick it in the water, and you have to start going back and forth. Okay, so I got my siphon working, and to clean, you can just kind of go in and out of the rocks. You need to be conscious of your time, because the water will run out. The water is so dirty. So you want to make sure that as you siphon that you're going in and out and stirring up the gravel because if you don't, a lot of the sediment will just stay at the bottom and you need to stir it up to make sure it goes up the siphon. And you also want to make sure that when you're siphoning that you don't pull it above water level or else it will stop working. All right, so I noticed my bucket was almost overflowing so I pulled the siphon out and as you can see it got a ton of dirty water so now I'm just going to take the rest of the siphon out and then very carefully get your bucket and bring it to your nearest drain so as I'm cleaning the tank because it's usually an hour to two hour long process I start taking out some of the old tank water that I have the fish in. Just take a little cup. And then I'm going to put in some clean water with some water conditioner so they start to get used to the clean water that will be in their tank. And so mine only takes like one drop per half gallon. And then I just pour a little bit in their bowl. That way they'll start breathing in some clean water. I also made sure that while I was cleaning the walls to clean the upper rim and the heater if it needs cleaned. Now we're going to be putting clean water back into the tank and my bucket is really dirty from the dirty water that was in it so I'm going to rinse it out till it runs clean and you also want to make sure that you're using a strainer for your sink because you don't want any gravel going in your disposal. The process of putting clean water in the tank is pretty easy. I just used this pitcher and I've marked it with a piece of tape where a half gallon is. So I run my water and I try to feel when it starts to get to be the temperature of the tank. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't want it too cold or too hot. And then I fill it up. This is just a half gallon and I put the appropriate um, amount of water conditioner in. And then I'm going to just fill my clean bucket. Now I'm just going to go pour it in the tank and then I'm going to top off the tank using my little pitcher. So now you just want to clean everything that's going back into the tank. So make sure you clean the filter, clean the lid, 
and then any other things that might go in your tank. Okay, now you just want to rinse off all of your tank decorations. Alright, so at this point I'm just going to give my fish a little pep talk. You guys are doing so well. Oogie, I'm taking a few things out so that you'll like it a little bit better. I'm hoping it'll be a little bit more homey for you. And I'm sorry that I kind of overcrowded your tank and I let it get so dirty. of the whole experience, showing your fish their new home. <laughs> All right, so the fish are in there. Everything's pretty much done. The last thing I do is just kind of wipe the tank, get all of the crumbs off of it from feeding them. And you can still see that some of the dirt and stuff is settling. So I'm gonna let it sit about an hour and then I'll do a final shot so you can see what it looks like when it's all clean. Thank you. 